Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Jen. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hey, Colin. Do you separate your trash in Canada? 在加拿大会有垃圾分类吗 Um, you mean for recycling? Yeah. Yeah, we use a a system called the Blue Box Recycling System. Blue? Yeah. It's because every household is given a blue box. It's about the size of a large microwave oven to put the recycling in. So the word recycling can be used to mean the process of collecting and changing old papers, glass, plastic, etc. So that is can be used again, and also to mean the items you collect to recycle. So it's recycling 这个单词呢，既可以表示循环再利用的这个动作过程。Yeah, and it makes for some strange sentences like, "Take the recycling for recycling." Oh, that is strange. Well, I'm interested in how it's done. Can we talk about that today? Yeah, sure. 那在今天的节目当中呢，我们就来聊一聊 recycling 循环利用 So it's recycling all done in the same way across Canada? Uh, no, it's、um, not nationally controlled. The recycling policies are set by each municipality, so everywhere is a little different. Hmm. So in Canada, every place's recycling policies are different. And how is done in your hometown? Well, the municipality gives every household one blue box. For larger families, they may need another, but the second one you have to buy. So you put all your recycling in a box? Yes, but first you must separate everything. For example, you might have packaging that has paper and plastic together. You need to take that apart, or a plastic top to a glass bottle、uh, that must be separated too. Things like that. Hmm. So, the waste separation is the first step in the recycling. So, what things go into the blue box? Um, glass bottles and jars, metal food and beverage cans,、uh, that the rigid plastic containers. Like all these things must be washed first.、Uh, also, paper products like、uh, newspapers, magazines, flyers, and also cardboard boxes.、Um, the paper things need to be flattened as much as possible and tied together with string. I see. 那看来垃圾回收之前要做的工作还不少呢。如果是瓶子、罐子之类的呢，就首先要洗干净；如果是纸之类的物品，就要先要弄平，然后用绳子捆绑好。So, what about things like batteries? Oh, those are completely separate. We need to take them to another place that accepts them.、Um, there are many stores that have、uh, places to put batteries for recycling. Also, beer bottles are taken to the beer store, and they reuse them. Beer bottles are all a standard size in Canada, so all beer companies use the same bottles. Hmm. So, the battery will have a special place for recycling. 像有一些商店啊，就会设置一些专门回收废旧电池的地方。那像啤酒瓶也是可以回收的，而且为了方便回收利用嘛，在加拿大所有的啤酒瓶的规格都是一样的。Okay, so now you have your blue box filled up. What do you do? Well, in each area, you know what day、um, curbside pickup is. At my house, it's every other Tuesday morning. So the night before, you put the blue box at the curb. Curbside 就是靠近院子与马路之间的人行道的部分。那回收的这个蓝色箱子呢，就是放在这个地方。每隔一段时间就会有人来这里回收这些可循环的物品。So every other Tuesday, so it's just one time in two weeks. Yeah, and if you don't do it right, you know, separate the things, they won't take it. So you'd have to fix that and then wait another two weeks. They are very strict about it. Wow! And what about regular food stuff, like kitchen garbage? Oh, that's completely separate too.、Um, it's even picked up on a different day, and that's once a week. Hmm. 那如果是餐厨垃圾的话，就是每隔一周来收一次。Is that because there's a lot of food waste? No, actually, there's very little for most people. But food waste can go bad quickly, especially in the、yeah. summer, right? And so it like smells, and it can even make people sick. Yeah, it also attracts bugs and rats. Right. So we pick that up more often. But many people with a back garden will compost most of their kitchen waste. 
Compost. Yeah, compost to collect and store plant materials so that it can decay, and、uh, then you can add it to the soil, and it improves its quality. You know,、um, compost is a noun and a verb. Compost. So you can get some more strange sentences like "Take the compost out to compost." Compost 这个单词呢，指的就是混合肥料。那很多家庭就会把自己的餐厨垃圾转化为肥料 ，compost。那这个单词呢，也是可以做动词的，表示施肥。So Canada does a good job with recycling, then. Well, it all sounds good, and people follow the rules and really want to recycle, but actually, it's not so great. Why? What's the problem? In much of Canada, the recycling system is run by private industries with no accountability. Municipalities that supply the blue bins are only responsible for the contents until they are sold, either to a recycling company or to some broker. So this offsets the cost of the municipal recycling programs, but it means that the mis- municipalities bear no responsibility for where the waste goes next and whether it is even ever recycled. I see. 就是因为现在回收系统很多都是由私营企业来负责了，所以市政府呢对这些垃圾的去处啊，以及是否进行过回收等问题，就不承担任何责任了。So you mean a lot of it isn't really recycled? Yep, right. For a long time, the system looked like this: some waste was purchased by a recycling company and processed to be reused. But a lot of waste that was contaminated, you know, by food scraps or other, you know, non-recyclable materials, ended up in landfills or sold overseas, largely to companies in China. Once exported, the waste would be sorted, the valuable plastic kept, and the rest either dumped or burned. You know, this is a reality that、uh, many blue bin users were not aware of. 嗯，就是有一些回收公司购买了垃圾，并进行了再处理和再利用。但是很多被食物残渣污染的垃圾，或者是含有其他不可回收的材料，最终被填埋或者是卖到海外。那卖到海外之后呢，人们就将这些废物再进行分类，保留有价值的塑料，然后再将剩余的塑料倾倒或者是焚烧。那像海外出口的话，就主要针对的是中国的公司。But China made new restrictions on what waste they would take in a few years ago. That's right. In 2018, China became strict about it, and now Canada and other Western countries are having to dump their garbage in their own landfills or export it to other countries. So most of what the people think is getting recycled is not really, and they don't know. Yep, exactly. So what can people do? Well, they can put pressure on companies to make packaging better. This is one way. 对，就是可以向一些公司施加压力来改善包装的方式 ，and stay informed and make a better choice. Right. You know, it really sucks that even you are trying to do the right thing, you may be not. True, and that's why staying informed is very important. Reading this kind of news may not be sexy, <laughs> but it's much more important to the future than what. Some superstar is wearing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thanks for listening, everyone. This is Colin. This is Jen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.